you know, the landscape has changed quite a bit with Bikash, with Nogod, with this agent banking um, uh, scheme that we have and the sub branch that now Bangladesh Bank allows. So is there any need for the government's directive that if you open one branch in an urban area, then you ought to have something uh, in a ratio or whatever in a, in a rural area. Would you reflect on that? There is a law which obliges banks to open a rural branch if they open a city branch. And when I left MTB with 118 branches, there were 15 branches which were unprofitable. And of the 15 branches unprofitable, 12 were rural branches. Normally, uh, urban branches become profitable in a year to two years time. Normally. Uh, after that, if it's not becoming profitable, there's some problem with that. With that location, then you should relocate to another area. You may have an expense, but it's better to relocate. But with the urban branches, some will never ever become profitable. And that is a service that you do. So my suggestion to the central bank would be that what you should do is uh, yes, you may not want to change the law regulation. Okay, one city branch, one rural, or you can say one rural or two sub branch. You can give an option, two sub branch, or you can say four agent banking centers. They can give an option to the bank. You know, with the financial inclusion, keenness of the central bank, and uh, what their central bank is doing, and it started during Dr. Atiyah Rahman's time. I actually, interviewed Dr. Atiyah just before Hello. yesterday on my. What's that? Brilliant, brilliant, yeah. And I had a ringside seat with the financial inclusion activities. I went to so many villages along with him and then continued by his illustrious predecessor and my very dear class friend, Fazli Kabir. Mr. Fazli Kabir is the current the governor. So he's continuing with this policies and expanding further. He's the one who has allowed the sub-branches after I appealed to him in a banker's meeting when right. I was in office.